All right, for this video, I couldn't actually find my Cobra's jersey, but it's okay, because this shirt has black in it, and at funerals, we wear black. Cobras lose. I don't even know the score, 12-1, something like that. By the way, late to the upload again by one week this time, or maybe it was two weeks. I'm late to this fucking upload. Cobras lose 12-something in a World Series game. What a performance. Sawyer being pitched really fucking well until the sixth inning. I think we should talk about the season. Because like, there's no point talking about the game. We lost. But this team is fucking magic. We don't have to do anything crazy at the draft. We don't need to make any trades. This team is fucking dangerous. Sawyer being rookie of the year. But like Jordan Robles exists. But if this is any other year. Including 2020. Including 2021. Dude, Sawyer being rookie of the year those years. It's not even fucking close. This shit this kid does on the mound. I'm buying his shirt. Moy bien. Moy bien. Drew Davis, manager of the year. And they don't have it, but captain of the year. Brandon Baranowski. Cy Young. Cy Young. He had a really bad World Series, but we should not forget that gem of an ALCS. Gem of an ALCS, that crazy performance against the Metro Magic and all the shutdown performance that, that he had since, including some crazy defensive plays against the Western Wildcats in the regular season and some good pitching in there too. He's a fucking behemoth. He's. I wish he could hit. Uh, I wish he could hit a wiffle ball, but he can't. So, that's fine. He is first overall pick that we knew he would be. He's like Jack Hughes, my personal favorite player of all time. The reason I wear number 86. We drafted him. He looked pretty shit his first year. And then come his second year, boom, guy's a fucking beast. He's like Joe, he's like Joe Burrow, but less injuries. Um, Sean Flynn, my favorite player of all time. Consistent. Consistent. Andy Duran. Don't know where he was. Just don't know where he was. But um, I guess shit happens. That's what happens in life unpredictable you know your players aren't always going to be there but i know that this scheme can show up when the chips are down and when the players aren't there i know this team can step up the chemistry this team has besides maybe the predators and the eagles second to none i don't want i don't i don't, I don't even want to hear about the diamondbacks chemistry i don't want to hear about it this team's chemistry solos the diamondbacks chemistry my opinion um it's rough to not win a World Series game. It's rough to lose a game 3-12 something. It's rough. It's rough. Cobra's Nation, we're not done. We're not done. We're not done. This snake squad, we're not done. Um, we got to give it time. It's still an open wound even a week later. Um... But I, I will never forget the, all the shit this team has given me. Screaming my lungs out after Drew Davis couldn't find the strike zone against the Mallards. Crying after the ALCS. Screaming while I was on vacation after the Magic series. Go back and watch that video. I'm pretty happy about that video. The Red Baron from a couple of months ago. Um, and thinking that we were going to get Jason Chadwick and we didn't. And we made it further than the team that did. Everything about it, this team of Sawyer Bean, Sean Flynn, Annie Duran, Brandon Baranowski, Gus, and of course, Drew Davis. It technically Brendan Schultz, I think, still. Dude, this team's fucking unreal. But shit happens. And if you're gonna lose to and any if 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 any team was gonna bring us down, it was gonna be the Diamondbacks. It was going to be Jimmy Norp. I mean, he's just the best player of all time. No, I'm joking. He's just the best player in the league. He's just the best player in the league. He's just unfucking real He's one of the best players in the nation. In the nation. I don't even... Like, I know a lot of wiffle ball players in America, and he's one of the best. Inclu like, I, know a lot about, I know a lot of wiffle ball players in the nation, including me. He's just one of the best players in the world. He's just... I mean, in, in, I mean, in America. One of the best players in the world, probably not. But, dude, he's fucking gross. And if anyone... Like, he's disgusting. He, he's gross. If anyone's gonna bring us down, it was gonna be him. But Sawyer Bean is just d a disgusting pitcher and an incredible trash talker. Brandon Baranowski has captain material in him. 
if Drew Davis ever like retires or something, he has captain material in him. Andy Duran, if he's not as busy with college and football, is fucking lethal at the plate. Sean Flynn is an incredible outfielder and a very consistent on-base guy. Gus. That's all I have to say, Gus. Um, you gotta love this team. You just gotta love this team if you're a Cobras fan. Um, it, it sucks. It, it, like, it really does. Like, I'm like, this is, like, all my videos are one-takers unless I fuck up. Then I do it over again, but, like... You can't really find much more to say, dude. This team's fucking gross. We're 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 incredible. Um, but I mean, shit happens, and uh, you know we're gonna be back next year. We're gonna be back next year. I appreciate all the Cobras, and to actually wrap this video up, I want to thank everyone that's watched my videos through this past year. I made this is my second complete year from opening series onwards of doing these videos from. 2021 to now this is my second complete year and like if you if you're like a real dr jiggles fan then you'll know that i actually made videos on an old account of mine after the all-star break of the 2020 season and i scrapped those but i did some cobras videos that i lost I, they're not even on a hard drive anywhere i just lost them now but um um but i actually did make those videos but i mean but truthfully i really started after with, with game four of the 2022 world series i mean 2020 world series that's where i actually started on this channel and i just can't thank everyone enough i want to thank nickens for being just a huge inspiration for doing analysis and just being the goat of the mlw community i want to thank ck sports for being one of my mutual good friends in this community um I want to thank and giving me some shout outs that really helped me. I want to thank um, a new account, official Coastal Cobras on Instagram. Incredible account. Incredible account. Please give them a follow. Um, a lot of people I want to follow. Now, Connor. Uh, Connor, I think he changed his name to the Wiffle Ball fan from the Cobra Sand. Incredible channel as well. Um, MLW Now. Uh, yeah, and I want to thank Kyle for always putting these videos out day in, I mean, week in, week out. I mean, the job he does is just fucking incredible. And like I said again, I just can't go without thinking my Cobras. I love you boys so much. You know, you guys will never see this, but like I really do from the bottom of my heart. Love you guys. You guys make my, whenever you guys play, you guys make my month. You really do. And, you know... You saw your being literally one of my favorite players, just in general. I love that kid. Drew Davis, he was the reason I fell in love with wiffle, wiffle ball. Truthfully, he's the reason I love wiffle ball. I can't put it any other way. He's the reason I love the sport. Drew Davis is the reason I love the sport. Sean Flynn as well. Sean Flynn, my favorite player of all time. Brendan Baranowski, incredible player. I loved him since way before we drafted him. Um, Andy Duran, I've been watching that guy for years now. I love him. Gus is a living legend. Memes aside, great guy. And, um, and for everyone that watches my videos, I really do love you guys a lot. You guys have made the season. You guys are truthfully cheesy as it sounds. Fucking generic as it sounds. You guys are changing my life. I, I do mean that. You guys are changing my life. Um, from a simple hobby to something that I like to take pride in. You know? You know, I'm trying to make improvements on my videos again. Like I said, I have this light that I turn on for lighting with my videos. Um, and I'm just trying to improve it every way I can. And... You guys are just a huge help for that, and I do love you guys, and Snake Squad, we ain't done. We're gonna be back next year. Next video should be the awards video, so be, be out for that. Safety, and as always, bye, be safe, don't text and drive.